It's a little annoying that I have to put pants on every time I start videoing. Anyway, um, you may have guessed I'm making a chainmail shirt. This is, uh, I think that piece. And I've got another one. And those connect up here and blah, 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 and it keeps going. Whoa, why are you making a chainmail shirt, Jamie? That's weird. Well, besides the fact that I'm a super nerd dork, uh, and like, who doesn't want to build a chainmail shirt when they're a super nerd dork? I want to wear it so that when I'm going running or even just hanging around, I'm getting stronger, you know, like, kind of like training in heavy gravity. I mean, that's like why I wear my chains all the time and stuff. Um, I'm sure someone's figured that out by now. But anyway, if I hang out in like an 80 pound shirt all the time, then I'll be all extra strong and I won't have to like go to the gym and waste time. So, uh. Now I'm sure the next question is going to be, you know, what's the pattern for this chainmail stuff? How do you know how to put it together? Well, here's a, a chunk I've made with bigger rings, so it should be easy to see. Now you got like a row of rings here, right? And uh, those ones are kind of tilted tilted toward the camera, like the tops are tilted toward the camera. And then the next row is these ones right in here. And those ones, the bottom is tilted toward the camera, so they're like tilted away. So you get a row that's tilted toward the camera at the top, and then you get a row that's tilted away because the next, the second row wants to get under the first row. And then you make another row like the first one, tilted toward the camera. And it comes up from under, to get under the last row and then the next row down comes in from the top and goes under those other ones and back around yeah it's not that hard actually the only complicated or not really complicated the only tricky time is like when you just start and you only have like <clears throat> seven or eight pieces together and you know it doesn't really keep its shape at all um, so you just have to put it down and like flatten it out a bunch and then I mean but after you get up to like you know even just this size it starts keeping the shape pretty well and then you know when you get like bigger pieces like this I mean it totally keeps its shape it's easy to um, like getting out of the light it's easy to know exactly where the uh, you know where the top is and where the edges and where the next row goes so yeah, this is my, uh, oh yeah, I didn't explain that. This is my nighttime project because, uh, you know, the sun goes down at like 4 o'clock here in the middle of the winter. So I have a lot of nighttime time to just like do stuff. And uh, it's kind of good to have something to do that doesn't use a lot of electricity. Like I can't just sit around playing video games all night because I'll use up all my electricity. Plus, you know, then my brain gets stupid and I start acting like an idiot because all I do is stare at a screen and I'm like, who wants to do that? Uh, no offense to anyone who does that. Well, okay, maybe it can be a little offensive. Uh, dude, you're like wasting your time when you're doing that. Get off the computer, go do something. Anyway, that's my nighttime project. And, uh, oh, it's been three days so far and I've got like two shoulders. So, uh, hopefully I'll have a shirt in, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks. Maybe even by Christmas. Oh yes, and of course, let's not forget what I'm actually using to make this stuff. Electric fence wire, 14 gauge. Here's half a mile of it. Uh, it weighs like, I don't know how much it weighs, 60, 70 pounds, something like that. It's a pretty big roll. Um, I just got that at the hardware store. Might not have it at like, you know, the big hardware stores, but if you go to a little hardware store, they usually have it, anything with like farming supplies. And, uh, I guess the rest was pretty self-explanatory. Coil it up into a spring, spread it out so it uh, so the rings are open, then cut them all off, and then just start putting them together. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, my uh, half mile of fencing wire cost 80 bucks. It's like the most expensive shirt I've ever bought.